All right, so welcome to Photoshop. So today we're going to be going over auto toning and why I don't use it and why I suggest that no one pretty much ever use it anytime. Um, I'm not a big fan of presets because it involves a lot of auto toning. So to make it let it make sense, we're going to bring over this info palette here. And I've got it set to red, green, and blue. And the info palette is under your window, under info. It's something you should always use when toning. Um, I have beginning students and it's the very first palette that I show them and what it means. We also have K. K is the grayscale value. So right now you can see we are at 100% black in this point where my cursor is over. And the red, green, and blue reads 0, 0, 0, 0. Um, there's probably not a 100% white point, but if I was at... 0% uh, K or totally white, it would read 255, 255, 255. And that would be 100% um, white. If you are on a neutral gray, meaning a gray with no color, your red, green, and blue values are all going to be the same, whether it's 555 five, five, or 247, 247, 247. Now, if you go up here, we might be close, but see how it's got a little bit of red cast in it? and that red number is higher but our green and our blue values are much closer together than um, the red value is so if you come over to a red color notice we've got a lot of red so the red number is very high so as you do that you can kind of get an idea of uh, what color is predominant in your image so this is the info palette so what we're going to do here is I'm going to hit uh, Command M, and that's going to bring up my curves. It would be uh, if if it wasn't on. Oh, sorry, I'm on something different that I'm going to do here in a second. So I hit Command M, and that curves will come up. Control M on your PC, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to hit Auto. And what we're going to see here is I'll drag this out of the way. This image is totally going to change. So the problem with what having a computer tone your image on auto tone is it only goes by numbers. It has no idea what the photo is of or what it should look like. It's just taking the number and averaging them and trying to make it look right. So what happened here is, and the main problem with using auto tones, it sets white and the worst part, well, yeah, white is the worst part and it sets black. Setting black is, is, is uh, if, it's, if it's an actual 100% black, is okay to set black. Setting white is a lot of times not a good idea unless you have pure white or like a specular white, meaning white with no detail, nothing in it. It's totally white. Well, in a photo, a lot of times you don't want that specular white. You want your white to actually have some detail. That's the whole point of manual exposure and taking a photo is... A lot of times, unless it is really a white without detail, you want some detail. And by doing an autotone or setting the color white, you're setting specular white where there should be getting deep, there should be detail, and you're getting rid of it from the image. So if we come here and I double click this, you can see the values here for red, green, and blue are set at 000. So that's going to set 100% black. So here's the problem white 255 255 255 that's going to set 100% white or white with no detail well this image if i hit cancel here and hit cancel here doesn't really have a white so by going into curves and trying to set a white it's blowing out areas and making white so you can see we're getting areas with no detail that actually had good detail so that's why setting white is not bad. Now I've done this before where I'll come in here to my white value and I'll actually change this to 245, 245, 245, looks like we lost the five, two, four, five, and hit okay. So that sets a white, I don't know, around 4% maybe, three or 4%, not exactly sure. Now, in this image, it's still not going to help a lot because there, where it's not setting a total specular white, it's still setting white where the, it, 
the values in this image are much darker. And you'll think, well, this is just a sunset. No, you'll be shocked that um, just in regular photography, how much stuff doesn't have black or doesn't have white in it. So if you take an image that doesn't have a black or white, it's really going to screw up your image. So the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit Command B, and that's going to go into Color Balance. All right. So what I'm going to do here in this Color Balance is I'm going to actually do Auto Color Balance. So I'll hit Cancel, and I'm going to hit Command Shift B, and you can see how that flattened that image out. So I'll Command Z it. So look at the color. So look how gray and blue it made this image. We want this soft, beautiful color. We don't want a neutral color. So what Color Balance is, is doing is it's actually coming in here and trying to find a neutral gray somewhere and balancing by that neutral gray. We don't want that. Also, by having a white and a black, um, it's trying to. So if there's a little color cast on your on your whites or your darks, it's going to shift that color balance and screw it up. So let's go to the next photo here. So once again, it's Command or Control M um, for curves, and you can do this in levels. I'll do levels as well I'll just hit auto and you can see BAM right once again here's an image that maybe it's black here in the tree but definitely doesn't have a white anywhere in it and it's totally screwing up our image because it just has no idea look how it blows all this out and gives it like this neon nasty look I mean this just totally ruins this image so we'll do a color balance um, right, we have warm, subtle color, and now it look what it did in here. It's really weird. I'll hit Command Z. It's just really screwing up that subtle color throughout your image. So uh, this image is not the best. We're gonna skip that one. So we've got this portrait of this girl who it's dark. I didn't take this. I would. It's a little. It's definitely not specular white. There's a little bit of detail here in this image. So if I slide this over and I hover my point over you can see we're at 25 percent gray so there's definitely some detail in this image and but we want this kind of dark photo so if we come in here and just let a computer by numbers auto tone something you're gonna see bam we'll hit okay and now we'll go back over this and you can see it went from 10 percent all the way down to eight I'm not exactly sure where it set the white at but believe me somewhere in here Oh, you know what? I hit 245, 245, so it's not quite as bad. So let's hit Command M. Yeah, okay, we're back, so that's good. Didn't get saved. So you can see it's totally opening up this image and making it flat and just not anywhere as nice as it was when we originally had the image. So this is how you want it. A computer doesn't know how you want it. And there's no right way or wrong way to tone an image um in general you know it's you're trying to make the image uh how you want it but having hot spots or blown out areas is never a good idea um so definitely didn't work there so we have this image here and notice this image once again there's no white in this image anywhere watch what happens to this yellow when we auto tone this oh yeah it it's like neon and look how it intensifies the color in her skin we'll just hit OK so I can command Z back out of that so look at that it's really adding a lot of contrast because it doesn't have a black obviously and it doesn't have a white so it's it's increasing that highlight it's just utterly ruining this image so that's just a few examples of why I never ever use a uh, auto balance on a on an image and Rarely, actually never, where I set white, come in here and just go white, because that's going to ruin everything. However, occasionally, we'll try to find an image here with some black. We'll try to see if it works on that little tree down there. So I'll hit Command M. We'll see if it changes a lot. One way to tell is, yeah, so it, it's even though it's black, it looks black, it's not totally black. So you can see how much it did actually change that image. We'll zoom out, so I'll Command Z this. Really added a lot of contrast. Whether you like it or not, doesn't matter. Um, 
but setting black can work a lot of times when you set a color so I'll just come in here and I'm gonna set black remember we had black down here now notice I set black but nothing really changed that's good that means you're within your histogram um, and things work good now if I come in here and I'm gonna set white on an area that's not white you can see that just goes insane uh, if you have a dramatic change something's wrong you want a minor change or a subtle change if you ever have a dramatic change the, the the setting that white or black just undo it it doesn't work so that hopefully that's a little help on uh, I know it's time-consuming to have to come in and tone images manually but really the only good way to get it done so thanks for watching any comments or questions you can leave those below and don't forget to subscribe